Hi everybody, this is Catherine Savior at Physic in Action. Today we have day two upper body of dumbbell workout. Now if you only have five pounders, we can adjust this, but basically this is the workout that you're doing with minimal equipment. Um, we have eight exercises for you today. They're all 15 reps. So that's all you have to do is follow along and if there's modifications, if you have bigger weights, I'll show you how you can deal with them. We're going to start with a chest press. Now if you have five pounds, you're going to find this quite easy. Because we're working on the ground, you don't have much leverage. Now a normal chest press, had you had a bench or something like that, your motion would be a deep motion where your arms, your hands would come about to your chest and back up. Because we're on the floor, the floor is going to stop you in the right position. So you're not going to find this very difficult. So there's two ways of doing it. I'll let you start with just a plain five pounds. You're going to lay down. You're going to go down to position. Hands are above you. Now you're always going to have your wrists above your elbows. Your elbows are always going to be straight in line with the ground. So right now, my wrists are above my elbows, my elbows above my shoulders, but I'm going to go down and make a square. When I make my square, my hands are not on the inside, they're not on the outside. Doing so will change your exercise. So we want to make sure that you stay flat out. Now, we're going to be doing 15 reps. If you really find this easy, and you will probably find this really easy, you can double up, double up the weight in your hands, and then do one side, and then switch and do the other side, making it 10 pounds on each side. Okay, so we're going to start today with just one set. Ready? Up 15. So it's nice and wide. Make sure your back is flat. If you want to get some abs in here, all you have to do is keep your head up. Might as well, right? Might as well work two in one chop. Take a deep breath and go. Straight up and down. Now you see my hands are open. They don't need to be clenching these weights. They're just there to hold them in their place. Keep breathing. If you find it easy, you'll already, you'll know what to do. We're gonna do the last few, both of them in each, okay? So we've got five on each side to go, so one, Two, three, four, five. I'm going to switch sides. Same difference. One, two, three, four, and five. And there's your first exercise. For your next exercise, we have a dumbbell row. Now you're going to find these muscles are really strong, so five pounds is definitely not going to cut it. If your hands are big enough, you'll be doubling these up. If you have a 20 pounder hanging around, you're going to be using this. Now there's many ways this has been used. I prefer keeping the back in check, meaning that you're going to be safe doing this exercise. If you go in aerobics classes, often you're going to be using the three or the five pounds. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when they're doing it in aerobic classes. They have their knees slightly bent, they got their back bent, their bum back, and they're bringing a row in, okay? The only problem with this is A, you're lifting no weight and you're supporting your back the whole time, okay? So what we're gonna be using, you can use a bench, you can use a counter, you can use a seat, it's really up to you. I call this one the lawnmower. So with my clients, we're doing the lawnmower. We're trying to get that sucker started. So what you're gonna do, I take one arm, double in the other, push it somewhere, straight up, completely straight. It's supporting your whole weight. You're gonna keep the same leg, so left arm, left leg, forward. Other leg goes back behind you. This arm comes down to your knee. So technically speaking, there's not too much motion going on here. You're saving your back. I'm just leaning into the exercise. I'm doing absolutely nothing right now. I'm just holding the weight, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the weights as close to my chest. So when you're gonna do your motion, you're gonna bring your hands up and down. 
not too much motion. Try to stay in tune with your motion. So head straight, body straight, go all the way, drop, and up. One, two, the hands are close to you. Three, four, five, six, seven. Suck your belly in. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. When you do one way, you've got to do the other. In our first exercise, we did a chest press. Technically, if I were laying down, your motion is a push away, sort of like you would do a push up. Basically, you're working this part of your chest, okay? Of course, your shoulders attached to your chest, so you're working both of those. Here, we're gonna be using a chest fly, but we're gonna be doing it standing, just to make it a little bit different from what we had laying down. Now, when you're doing a fly, you're working the chest crack, okay? So where the guys have this nice little crack going on, we're working on that. Girls, it doesn't have anything to do with bringing the chest together, I'm sorry. If it would, we'd all be doing it, okay? So basically, we're just making sure that your full chest is actually getting a workout out of this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your weights away from you, chest open, okay? Once you're open, you're gonna bring your arms with a slight curve in front of you. So your motion comes together like you're going to carry a baby and give it to somebody. Give you an idea, okay? So the motion is like this. So your chest is working. And when you come back down, you come back down, opening the chest, come behind you, okay? So your motion is behind, forward, get the baby away, and back, two, three, squeeze the chest, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, try not to swing too much, eleven, well, you have a tendency to do this. 13, super easy, don't do it. 14, and 15. For our next exercise, we're gonna do a shoulder press. The shoulder press will work the front and the lateral side of your shoulder muscles. So we're using this part and this part in combination. There's many ways of doing it. We're gonna do the simple version. Now remember when I was talking about the first exercise, the press? how the elbows and, and the wrists were lining up. We're gonna do the same motion, except we're in an upright position. So we're going up towards the, the ceiling, okay? So you're gonna start, you're gonna make a square, okay? You're making a square. You wanna be careful, same reasons. You don't wanna go up here because now we're using weight on our bicep, we don't want that. You don't want any weights here because then we're destroying all the extra energy. This is super, super easy right here. I want the Wrists above the elbows, okay? And they're always straight, okay? Perpendicular to the ground. Now, as I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up. If I stay there, I don't have a straight line anymore. So they have to come along with me. And we're gonna stretch right up to the top here. So right here, I'm straight in line. My wrists, my elbows, and my shoulders are all lined up. As I go down, they're gonna go away, 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 making a square, okay? So that's how you're gonna do this exercise. Are you ready? We're doing 15. Take a deep breath, push up. One, crack in. Two, if you're not sure, check yourself out. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. If you find it too easy, modification. Bring two in one hand. Make sure they're comfy. Have the same position. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch sides. Position. One, two. Three, four, and five. 
for our next exercise, we're going to have a bicep curl. Now, we can do a regular curl, we can do a hammer curl. This time around, I think we're just going to do a regular grip. Regular grip means it's neutral, okay? I usually start in a position inside my hips, and I turn as I go up, okay? You want to squeeze your bicep. Five pounds, probably not going to be enough to give you a good jolt at it, but you can actually fake it. And what I mean by that is if you actually concentrate on contracting your bicep, you're going to get a good workout out of it. So what you're going to do, you can stand with your feet apart if you like, soft knees, okay? The reason we're doing soft knee is so that your back is not particularly on the mushy, okay? Mushy, mushy. Soft knees, shoulders back, down, you want shoulders down, elbows tucked, they're not moving anymore. Right there, I just put some tension in my biceps. They're already tense, okay? So we're gonna go up for 15. Take a deep breath and check. Up. If they go up here, your elbows are moving. If they're moving, you are not doing the right job. Elbows down. You stop where it stops. Two. Practice forcing them straight. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. If it's not hard enough, you know how to modify. Two on the same side. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. On the other side, get comfy. One, two, see the elbows not moving. Three, four, and five. For the next exercise, we're going to do a tricep overhead extension. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one hand. Pretty much five pounds is going to be the right weight to use. I mean, adventurous people might want to do eight. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to lift your, head, your hand all the way up. Now your elbow will be touching, the other side here will be touching the top of your head. Now the reason I have it here, if you really want to make it, you know, so that you can't make a mistake, you're going to hold on to your arm and you're going to lean it on your forehead. When you're doing this, you're keeping your arm in a safe place. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our hand behind us and when you bring it down, you're going to go as far down as you can and then climb back up. I'm going to show you a side view what it looks like, okay? See? We're bringing it down behind us and going back up. Are you ready? So, here we go. All the way down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're comfortable, you can do it with no hand. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Then do the other side. So all the way up and bring it to your forehead. Nice and tight. It's there to hold you. Now since summer's coming, I don't want your shoulders to look all funny. I mean, we did the triceps so we wouldn't get the flabs. We did our biceps so we would even out our arms. We did a bit of the shoulders before, which was combination. Now we're going to do a shoulder, and it's going to be pure front and then pure side shoulder. So you're using your delt quite a bit. Five pounds is probably all you're going to need, and you may actually have a hard time doing 15. So I'm going to show you a modified version that you can start with, and then you can increase on. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to have your arms bent here, and then you're going to be going up to the side back down, up to the front, up to the side, back down, up to the front, okay? That's version one, version easy, do it if you need to. You will know, trust your shoulder, trust your back. For the rest of us that are willing to kill ourselves for it, trust me, it's worth it. The shoulders love this exercise. It's tough though. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your shoulders back, okay? 
You're going to lift. I'm going to show you what your shoulders are going to kind of look like. Your arms are going to kind of look like throughout the whole thing. When you go up, I don't want your wrist to go down because instinctively that's what you're going to do. If you look, your elbows are kind of like flipping out of your spot. It's pretty gross. Okay. So the tension is not even in my shoulder. It is in my elbows. And I don't want that. So to avoid that, first, elbows, I mean your wrist, <clears throat> nice and tight. You're going to be up tight. Okay. Then just bend back your elbows. In. So if you were to look maybe in this angle, you'll see there's a bit of a bend in my arm. What you're doing is you're pretending you're on a porch and you've got a water hose or something to water plants and you want to trick the guy downstairs from here and then you want to go pour some water on it. That position like this is the right position for your arm. That's the position we're going to keep. Okay? For the front, you're just keeping slight bow. Okay? So we're going up, pouring water. Okay? Back down, forward and up. You're never really going to go past your shoulders. I don't want you going higher than your chin. Shoulders don't like that position and they will not take it well. So you want to keep your position a little bit lower. Are you ready? We're doing 15 of each. Are you ready? Here we go. One. One. Two. Two. Remember stiff wrists. Three. Remember for the water. Four, five, three, six, seven, eight, keep a smile, you gotta fake it, nine, ten, it's getting heavy isn't it, eleven, usually you feel it, twelve, thirteen, almost there, fourteen, 15. Good job. For our last exercise, we're going to have a full setup. Okay? It's not conventional. With the weight, you will actually see that it's difficult here. But once you get past here, it's actually going to help you finish the motion. Okay? So the hard part is from holding it back from here and coming back up. So we're going to do 15, and I said 15 because you might actually find it challenging to get to 15. Some of you think that having your legs bent is easier. It is not. It's not because having your legs down gives you extra leverage. So hold your weight, come slack, have it flat on the ground, take a deep breath, bring your back down, okay? And then you go up, 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 up. Touch your toes if you can. All the way back down. Roll, 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 roll. That's one. You ready? Whoosh. And roll, 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 roll. Two. Whoosh. Roll, roll, roll. Three. Four. You will travel. Five. So just make sure you try to bring your bum down every time. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Nice and easy. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. If you want to do more of abs, go for it. Just be careful with your lower back. Try to make sure that you're curving all the way back down. When you're coming back up, it's going to give you quite a bit of pressure. Just do your best, and that's all we need to do. So there you have it, that was day two, upper body. As you notice, five pounds can probably do all of your exercises. You just need to double up in the ones that you find easy. If you have trouble with any of them, you have shoulder problems or neck problems, 
please get a hold of me so that we can discuss how we can make it easier for you so that you can adapt this program for you. Now, what you gotta remember when you're doing an exercise program is that you won't see results if you don't stay constant. We have a calendar, we have posters, so that you try to stay on track. We want you to do it as steady as possible. We have two days, so you're gonna do day one, day two, then have a rest day or a cardio day, do something other than our workout, and then you're gonna repeat day one, day two, and then you're gonna take a break. So it's gonna be like that for a whole month. Now I need you to up your water. The more water you drink, the more you will detoxify your body. This is what we want, this is something we want. I need you to eat a lot of veggies, a lot of veggies, eat a lot of protein. Be careful, we don't want fatty protein. I don't want you eating gross meats. You wanna eat meat? Lean meat, okay? If you have any questions about diet or water or nutrition or anything else, please contact me or ask the question at the bottom of the comment box and we will make sure to get to you. If you haven't already done so, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, let me know what you like or not like. If it's the first thing you've done, make sure you write, I'm in, and we'll send all what you need, your posters, your calendars, your worksheets and whatnot. And please share. Don't let everybody out of this. They will like this workout just like anything else. The next workout we're going to have is going to be something to get ready for summer. So, till next time.